All right, YouTube. Hey, Josh here, Attica Lumber Company. Check out this post stream pole barn building right out here in Crawford County, Ohio. But let me kind of give you an idea of what we did here. Actually, we had a crew, a building crew of three that took on this project right here, but a 30 by 40 16. But let me kind of give you some depth perception so you can see this right here. All right. But we're going to go inside here. We're going to check out the concrete perma columns. All right. And then some interesting the coil stock on the overhead door trim. But let me kind of give you the setup here. All right. This is actually in between Columbus, Cleveland, and Toledo, if you're familiar with the state of Ohio. Okay. So we got these privacy windows up there, four by two. All right. Then look at this green wainscoat. All right. So green in the tan. All right. Green in the tan, three foot section of wainscoat, tan. All right, but let me kind of give you an idea. I call this like a traditional one foot overhang. I've been following this channel. All right, let me pan this around just a little bit so you can get a little bit better idea. All right, so a green wainscoat, then I'll go out front and kind of get you a little bit different. But the setting right here, guys, look at this setting. Beautiful setting. Look at that, the pond out there. Let me go back to this post stream. All right, 30 by 40 with actually a 14, excuse me, 12 by 14 overhead door. All right, so let's go in here. Concrete perma columns, now a lot of people think of concrete perma columns maybe being used on a bigger post string. But you can see right here, 30 by 40, 16, yellow pine top beam headers right there. So concrete perma columns, now if you look at this a little bit closer, we have a three ply lamb sitting in there. All right, that's two by six is right there. Now you could get it like a two by eight or six by six embedded on that concrete slab there. And that's actually four feet. Okay, so that concrete perma column right there is four feet. Now we do go in the ground here in the state of Ohio, we dig down 48 inches. All right, so that kind of gives you an idea. All right, but three ply right there, Southern yellow pine, glued, finger jointed, laminated together, pressure point there, a pressure point right there, then also a pressure point right up there as well. And you can see right here, actually this wall bracing, two by six SBF right there, 1650 MSR lumber. You can see what we did, actually we ran it 30 inches apart, all right? So you can see how we boxed in those four by two windows up there. Now look at the diagonal bracing on this. All right, so we ran the diagonal bracing here and we connected it right there. And I had somebody ask me actually, you know, how do you connect this diagonal bracing to that concrete? But let me share with you how we did this here. Let me get the camera so you can see this. Obviously we're not gonna put any nails in there, but look at this. Let me kind of give you an idea on how we did that. See that right there? Then also let me kind of give you another one over here so you can see some perspective. All right, so this is kind of, maybe you're looking to do this, you're wondering how in the heck, look at this actually, you can see there actually a little crack right there. And then we ran it there, obviously right up there on that three ply lamb. All right, a two by 12 top beam header. But let me share with you over here. All right, how we wedge this in. All right, to kind of give you an idea. And then I'll share with you right here as well, okay? So that's what we did as far as wedging this in there. We put that in there and then right here as well. But let me share that with you. See that how we wedged that in there right there. Then also look at the coil stock. Now you can't see it, the overhead door has been applied here, but we actually ran coil stock right above there. All right, but look at this overhead door trim. All right, with the drip stop metal there, comes pre-assembled, pre-applied to the underneath of that metal. But let me pan this out and we'll wrap this video up. But a 30 by 40, 16 post ring pole barn building right out here, actually in between Columbus and Cleveland in the great state of Ohio. So let me know your comments. As always, keep it down in right here. Out of Columbus.